In this tutorial, we'll discuss the concept of signals and slots in PYQT6. So, what is a signal and what's a slot? You may have heard of these terms, but you don't really know what they are. But I'm here to tell you that you've already been using these. I mean, most likely. Because if you've used a button widget inside PYQT6, then that means you've already been using signals and slots. You just don't know that you've you know, been using them. So what exactly are they and you know, what do we do with them? Why are they there? Let's talk about that. So whenever you trigger an event, like you click a button or you enter some text or maybe you press the enter key, these are all events. Now, whenever an event occurs, you need a way to let your PYQT6 application know that that event has occurred. Okay, how will you tell your application or more like how will your application know that an event has occurred? And that's where the concept of signals arrives. Okay, a signal basically signals that an event has occurred. Okay, so for example, you click on a button that generates a clicked event. Okay, a clicked signal. That signal represents that that button has been clicked. Okay, so that's what signals are. There are many different types of signals. Every widget has its own set of signals. For example, the button has a bunch of signals. Let's, show, let's talk about those right now. So for example, let's create a button widget over here. And let's just pass in some basic parameters. We'll call it a button. And we'll assign it to the parent. Now, this button has a bunch of signals. One of them is clicked, okay? And as I mentioned earlier, this signal triggers whenever you click the button, okay? And there's also pressed. This occurs whenever you hold down the button. Then there's also released. Released is when you let go of the button. Like you've clicked the mouse, uh, you've clicked the button with, with your mouse cursor, but you haven't let it go yet. So the release signal will trigger whenever you let go of the button. These are various types of signals that are linked to specific events, okay? And they signal the fact that these events have occurred. Now, what exactly can we do with signals? Well, signals by themselves are kind of useless, okay? There is no point of this released or the clicked signal by themselves. They're just markers. They're just, you know, they just warn you or inform you that an event has occurred. They themselves cannot really do anything. And that's where slots come in, okay? Signals and slots go hand in hand. Each by themselves is useless. You need both of them together to actually work together and you know, build a cohesive system. Basically what happens, a signal occurs, okay? Or more like the event occurs first, it generates a signal and that signal is linked to a slot. A slot is basically just a function. Okay, it's a function or a piece of code that you've linked your signal to. So whenever that signal occurs, it's going to trigger that slot. You can basically think of it like that signal is going inside the slot, okay? And that's triggering an event, okay? Without a slot, that signal will have nowhere to go, so it's not gonna do anything. So, but with a slot, that signal will actually go into that slot and then an event will be handled by calling a function, okay? Now let's take a look at a practical example. There's this button over here, okay? So let's try and make a button that can close our window, okay? I'll call this the quit button. This is the clicked signal over here. So what I need to do is connect this signal to our slot, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and use the connect method on this, okay? And in the parentheses over here, I need to pass in a function name. Now within these parentheses, I want you to write the name of the function that you want to call. Okay, now I know that the function required to close our window is self.close. Self referring to our Q widget window over here. Okay, this is a method that belongs to it, a built-in one. So this is the method but do not include these two parentheses, okay? Otherwise, it'll be counted as a function call, not as a function name, okay? You need to pass in the function name over here. So just keep that in mind. Let's just move the button somewhere 
on our window and let's run our code and once I click this button it should close our window hold on it's a bit slow the first time all right so once I click this button over here it's gonna close our window if everything went well and yes it did I clicked the button and this uh, signal was generated and because it was connected to our slot it closed the window and that's the entire concept of slots and signals okay that's all there really was to it and just so I can show you a, a little variety what I'll do is create a separate function over here and I'll call it something like uh, uh, exit window okay and just going to call self.close in here, okay? Because this approach that I showed you over here will only really work uh, when you already have a function, right? And you won't always be using the built-in functions. Sometimes you'll need to, or actually most of the time, you'll need to make your own function over here and then pass in the name of that function, okay? And you can just do that using uh, the same method self.exit window no parentheses and this is gonna call this function and you can include however much code you want to inside this function and it's gonna execute just fine so if I run this code now and if I click the button it's gonna close okay same effect now let's take a look at some of the other signals okay there's uh, what was there there was pressed okay so pressed is, um, well, it's pretty obvious. We just hold it down and it's gonna run. So let's just change that to something else just so we can see its effect, okay? I'll change this to hello. And if I hold this down, you can see that it's, you know, it printed out hello, okay? And if I let go, it doesn't really do anything. Let me just do that again. I'm gonna click on it and it'll print out hello because I'm holding it down. And then I'll let go it does nothing. Okay, just remember that. I'm gonna change this to click now and I want you to see what the difference is. I'm gonna click on quit button. Okay, I have it held down, but it's not printing anything. I'll let go now and it'll print hello. Okay, that's the difference. Pressed will trigger whenever you have it held down in a state of being held down. Clicked will only trigger whenever you click on it and you let go. So you need to do both in clicked. Then there's released. And when I run this, you'll see that if I click on it and I'm holding it down, it's still not printing anything. But once I let it go, it's gonna print out hello. Okay, I hope you're noticing this output down here. It's a bit small, but I hope you're keeping up. So yeah, that's the basic concept over here. Okay, this is just, I'm just trying to show you the difference in various signals, okay? Every widget has its own set of signals. Some of them just have one or two, if they're simple. Some of them uh, can have up to like six or seven, like the Q-Line Edit widget has like five or six, okay? So if you wanna take a look at that, maybe we can right now. So let's, uh, let's just take a look at that real, real quick, okay? Then we'll end the video because uh, I think we've already gotten the concept across, all right? So yeah, it's pretty simple, honestly. And it's something you'll use a lot because you can't really get by without it. So yeah, make sure you practice it. I'm gonna do input dot, uh, and actually let's just try and find some of those here. Or this is actually way too much. There are way too many functions over here. One of them, if I remember correctly, was text changed. Okay, what text change does is that whenever the text inside the QLine edit widget is modified, then it's gonna trigger that signal. Okay, let's just change the name of this function to, you know, function. Okay, and I'm gonna link that function over here and just put our widget somewhere in the middle of our window and run it and let's see what exactly the text changed signal does. So I'm gonna type in A, and that prints out hello. I'll type in B, that also prints out hello, because we're basically modifying the text inside the widget. So it's calling this function. And even if I say backspace, it's gonna call the function, because we're still modifying it, 
okay? So if I just add in a few more, and if I move around, it won't change anything, but if I delete one of them, or if I add something in between them, then it will print out hello, okay? And you may not notice that, because, uh, uh, you know, the output kind of got filled over there. Let me just, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's what text change does. There's also a few more like um, return, return pressed. So what return press does, and this might be, you might find this more useful, is that it returns, uh, sorry, it triggers a signal whenever you press enter. Okay, so for example, if I type in hello, it won't print anything, but if I press enter, it's going to print hello. And this is pretty good if, uh, oh, by the way, that does not have anything to do with what's inside there. If I just type in ABC and I, if I press enter, that's gonna print hello, okay? Because that's what our function does, all right? So yeah, the point is here that you might find the signal useful whenever you're creating a login form or some kind of other form and you want something to happen whenever he presses enter, like maybe it submits the form or something. Okay, so you, you might find this useful. The entire point of what I've, been, what I've been doing in the last five minutes is just to show you the different signals and why they're used and to show you, you know, how every widget has different signals that signify different events. So I, I hope I did a good job at that and I hope you guys understood the difference, how to use signals and everything. Okay, so yeah, if you like the video and if you wanna see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. So yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a later video.